I've been thinking We need to talk Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tolu Lokwe and I film about faith, marriage, lifestyle from Lagos, Nigeria. Today I have an interesting video for you guys. And you guys know I never say interesting. I let you be the judge of that. But this one is actually interesting because thinking about it, the process leading to filming this video has been so funny. So sometime a few weeks back or so, I was in the office and people were just talking proposal stories and stuff. Now one of my friends was like, so how did your husband propose to you? I'm like, it's funny how... So I told them the story, everybody was laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. And that was when I realized how funny it was to me myself. And um, so I'm like, I've never actually shared this on YouTube. And why? I don't know. Like, how can you guys be slacking on that gist and i've actually seen a couple of comments asking me share with us how you proposed and stuff like that but the ginger of filming this video even came yesterday so someone sent me a dm on instagram saying that she was um dealing with some sort of issues she actually agreed she said she knows that it's not like the most ridiculous issue in the world but she just needs someone to talk to so i'm like let's hear it and then she said that you know they had made in a nutshell she wasn't happy with how her uh, wedding turned out so they had made arrangements for a smaller hall on getting to the venue like days before they found out that their parents invited like times two or times three of the number they were expecting and then they were trying to change the hall they couldn't so she gets frustrated every time she thinks about the wedding because people were standing outside it was so choked up it wasn't a wedding of her dreams literally and it's been too much so i'm like girl <laughs> You better move on pack your thoughts everything making you depressed or feel funny about what is gone just move on this is even a new year for that matter and i told that the main thing is the most important people at your wedding you and your spouse were present i'm sure there are moments from that day that you would share <laughs> cherish i'm sure there are moments from that day that you cherish forever so don't even let the event of one day you know pin you down and make you now be in a bubble of oh i don't like how my wedding turned out i said people would even talk but let it not bother you if they talk fine they will also forget about it so don't live your life because of how some people are thinking that your wedding went and stuff like that anyway i shall give our counsel to the glory of god and then you know got me thinking about my proposal as well like that was one thing that was different for me it wasn't exactly the way i imagined it to go I actually didn't have any huge fantasies about my proposal. I just knew it was going to come and I was going to get married. Like, I was more focused on the marriage. But, you know, a girl can dream. And I'd seen a couple of videos, you know, oh, oh, and then I mean, cry, cry, maybe when it comes to things like that, mushy, mushy. <laughs> so, like, in my head, like, I had, like, I don't want to call them fantasies because they were not mine, but I just knew how a good proposal was about was supposed to be and all the romantic and stuff but mine mine wasn't mine wasn't the most romantic proposal but i'll say it was the most different proposal ever <laughs> and i didn't even think about it like that that it was going to come like that so anyway i have the clips and i'm going to insert them as i tell the story so let's jump right into it <laughs> so if you don't know my husband and i grew up in the same state we both grew up in akure in you know, those states his parents leave there my parents leave there as well and um so we're both planned to go home during that holiday for christmas at that time i was out of a job already so pff, my business was you could wait so i went home for christmas with my parents and my siblings and then he was also in akure as well so that's how I was minding my business. It was actually Christmas Eve. I was minding my business and my um, boyfriend calls me to say, oh, mom, she wants us to have like a family dinner tonight. It's mom. And she said, you should come over. I'm like, okay, why not? Fine. Actually, it was only one of my sisters that was around the baby of the house, Tomiwa. So I'm like, ah, okay, that's fine. I will come. Now, so the morning of that day, Tomiwa had gone to my mom's shop so myself and my mom were at home, we were just in all morning and stuff. Apparently my mom even knew about it. And I'm like, oh, mama invited us for, mama invited me over for a dinner in the um, Adejumo residence. So I have to go and stuff. It was not dinner, it was actually lunch. I have to go and stuff. 
so my mom was like okay fine get ready so i prepared and i'm a casual girl i love i love comfort clothes if you know me i'd rather like dress down than i wear the gym gym of the world i think i'm sweating hold on yes yeah, so i was saying like i'm a casual girl if you know me i'd rather like dress down be comfortable than like buff up wear heels and stuff and for me there was no air of packaging around me so i just wore my denim on denim as you guys can see or uh, we'll see and so i went my mom was even like oh let me drop you i'm like no it's fine i'll drive so she went away and i drove and the pg pg is my husband in case you don't know Pastor Bemiga. He was calling me, where are you? So, no, I called him when I was on my way. Like, am I late to the party or what? And he's like, no, you're right on time. So, I drive my James Bond. And as I was about to turn left into the street, I see his dad's mopo, like, calming me down because I'm actually jaga jaga, not jaga jaga, but like I can be a tomboy in the driving area. So I just saw his dad's mopo calming me down like, slow down, slow down. So that was, I'm like, you're never here. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> that was like the turn into the street. So I stepped on brakes and next thing I see, now if you know my family, oh yeah, now my family, there are so many people because my parents-in-law are very accommodating. They're like goals, man. I don't know how they let people, so many people into their space like that. So, especially when it's like Christmas time, we're not in the village, we're like in Akure and stuff. There are always so many people around, both close families, both um, just people from church. Like, people are always in the house. And I'm not talking just to visit, to stay over. People leave different cities to come. Anyway, so there were so many children. And then I drive into the street and I see all of the Omoile, <laughs> in quote, Omoile means the children of the house. And I see literally all of them lined up. So my husband's compound is supposed to be the first. So my parents-in-law is the first from the right, but it's like a long compound. So there was, you can see it from the picture. So all of them were lined up to the left and to the right. And then they held different kind of like um, note signs and plaques and stuff saying different sweet things to me. At this point, I was like, oh my days <laughs> so i should have slowed down and then as i was slowing down they were coming to my car one after the other to like hand it over to me and i'll read it i'll blush and then I'll <laughs> it happened like that till i got to the front of the gate now i got to the front of the gate and they were like all the parents of those omoile all of them were there like there were so many other people right in front of the gate my brother-in-law my sister-in-law all of them were in front of the gate. My parents-in-law were upstairs watching. Hey! Anyway, so um, someone comes to me to say I should just get get down from the car at this point. I am happy they even came to me because I wasn't sure which I was pressing. Maybe accelerator or brakes. <laughs> so I came out from the car and next thing is I was so shy at this point because uh, I am a private person to an extent. But even for proposal, I was going to go all out then. I wasn't expecting that to be like the presence of my in-laws in presence of like people around that knew me knew my parents my younger sister that was supposed to be in my mom's store at this time was also there apparently she had gone ahead to go me guys house and so there were so many people i was shy i didn't know what to think that okay wait what <laughs> so i kept covering my face with the uh, what's it called some of the um signages that those guys had given to me and then I entered the compound, all of them were following me, they were clapping, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> they were clapping and then I see PG and he's singing, oh baby, this loving is for real. So he signed it for me. And I was just blushing. I didn't know what to think. Like, I didn't know how to feel. I was just there, like, there were so many people. And, like, older people are age group and stuff. So, like, it wasn't like there was a way, you know, if you go out to dinner and it's a dinner proposal and then all your girls are there, you kind of already know how to act. But this one, my parents were watching from upstairs. So, like, 
I was just like, oh my god, and I even wore a band. <laughs> I told you guys, I even wore a band, so it wasn't like I was properly dressed for my proposal. But anyway, he sang that, he went on one knee, and I said yes. I said yes. And then another part of the story begins. I said yes, I stood up, I hugged him. I was trying to say, Shimoma, Sukuni, will I cry or what? But anyway, I, I don't think I cried, maybe inside. <laughs> And then Pigeon being himself was like, Did somebody say kiss? Did somebody say kiss? Did somebody say kiss? Did everyone shout them, No. And then so I stood up, I started hugging people. Thank you. <laughs> now to the cocoa of the matter that made my colleagues laugh a lot was as i stood up so i was walking towards my parents in law because like they were watching from like a distance the window like behind so i was walking to greet them i greeted them and then that's how one of the people just started singing for me all this tolu la sile oko if you are not yoruba you might not know what that means but it simply just means that tolu is going to her husband's house make sure you take care of your husband and your husband's family um Iyawo Abi Benji, um, Tolu will give birth to twins and stuff like that. Um, then Mama from upstairs now said, Ile Awa do Okoni for sure. <laughs> that means that our house is sweet, it's the husband that cooks, it's the husband that does everything. And I'm like, what? No. <laughs> it was so funny. Not to act, it was different, but at the end of the day, when everybody now like calm down, my head now calm down, I'm like, okay, this is my proposal story. <laughs> and then my rings were um, what's it called now? Something stones, I think emerald stones. I totally love, love, love them. Anyway, so yeah, that was there. After that, we went inside. I ate, you know, I made videos, we took pictures. And yeah, I got engaged. <laughs> it was so funny. And then I posted it on social media, I think on Christmas Day. So this was um, a day before I posted it on my Instagram, like on Christmas Day. And people were like, oh, congratulations and stuff. So for me, that's my proposal story. I didn't have a flowers, pet house, dinner for two, or dinner with friends kind of proposal. I had, I call it a family proposal, like every, even... <laughs> My sister-in-law and brother-in-law, in fact, all my sister, all my husband's siblings were married. 
but two of them that were there they were skyping their spouses and the other siblings so it was literally the whole family that was in on what was going on and seeing how i was being proposed to so it was it was it was actually fun i look back now and instead of me to focus on the fact that oh it wasn't a pet house kind of proposal i look at the moment i cherish the moment how different it was the fact that the whole family was um in on it and they were all happy and excited to have me in the family i look on the brighter side like that and i love it i'm going to tell the story to my kids so i'm just going to tell them go and watch this youtube video <laughs> anyway that's it i just start coming and just you guys let me know if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe and join the team solutions family i have so many videos lined up for you i know a lot of you guys say that oh you want to see my husband every time <laughs> but the man is busy and at the end of the day it's me that's a youtube channel so but it doesn't mean that it's not coming it's going to come i'm going to drag him he's black mm -hmm. <laughs> to you know come and make a video to actually have so many videos planned out for this month next month for this year and i'm going to try to be consistent so yeah stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye guys thank you for watching <laughs> You didn't really know you had to put that here. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. Ignore. Just ignore. <laughs> Loving is for real. T T lie lie. You know you fair you could you could. Through the good and the bad, you will always be mine. Oh my baby, I love you forever.